Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Gaines in the dough once again, or should I say, out the door. Either way, I'm in the garage gym, about to tear things up today. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. What's on feet today? You already know, it corresponds with the top, right? But, hmm, what we got today? None other than this beautiful Kobe AD NXT Volt. with the red lace swap. Y'all feeling? Yes, sir. Kobe logo on the back. Y'all already know. Super fly. Fly like the planes in the air, you heard? So today, I'm about to hit this back today. A Little bit of biceps. I appreciate y'all tuning in. For my loyal followers, thank you very much. If you're new to the page, go ahead and hit like. Go ahead and comment if you'd like. And also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell by tapping it so you know, you're notified every time I drop something new, okay? Oh, we're about to get it in. I just had my energy potion and I'm ready to go. All right guys, so as we get it in today, one of the things I wanna discuss one of the key words for today is gonna to be preparation, okay? Preparation, remember that, okay? Because in life, there's so many things that we need to prepare for to get our mind on, to get our body ready, or whatever it is, okay? For example, this workout for today. So I had the proper breakfast this morning, okay? I had the lunch, I had the water intake that I needed, as well, I was already, I was already focusing on what I was gonna do for the day, okay? I took my creatine HCL that I take 30 to 45 minutes prior to my workout, plus I took my pre-workout, which is another 30 to 45 minutes all together. And I say this to say that there's so many things in life that we can be prepared on, okay? For example, if you have a test coming up tomorrow, what kind of things could you do to prepare? Let's see. You could get some sleep by going to sleep earlier, right? You could study prior to getting to sleep, right? You can wake up early and get a good breakfast, okay? And then maybe you can study your notes again and then take that test and I guarantee you pretty much would do a lot better than what you would have done, okay? All right, hold that thought. So preparation is derived from the word prepare, right? So this isn't the English class, but my definition of preparation is basically to plan ahead, okay? To get things done and put in place prior to doing something else, okay? For example, this workout, of course, I'm gonna do all my necessary stretching and warm up prior to getting into my actual lifts, okay? But preparation is so big because so many people nowadays, they don't prepare. And then they wonder why they fail, okay? You know, it's cliche when people say, you don't plan to fail, you just fail to plan. But that holds so true, it, it's so true because how many of us fail to plan? Somebody can try to plan it for you, but it's you who's gotta act it out, okay? So, as an example, a marathon runner. If a marathon runner or a person who wants to be a marathon runner decides to, he wants to run, you know, 13.1 or something, and uh, he or she doesn't prepare, they don't put themselves in a position to where they can go run day in and day out so they can prepare for that. They're not gonna just think, well, I'm gonna show up the day of the marathon and hit that 13.1 and be done, you know, because I know the track or I know the course. I know exactly where it's laid out, you know, what turns are here or what turns are there. I know where I can stop and rest and get my breath. Well, it might not happen that way. And if you wait to the last minute, you might be shocked because you didn't make the 13.1. Either you didn't finish because you got too tired and you wore out or maybe you didn't make the right time, okay? Goes back on you because you could have prepared prior to this and by the time that day came, easy. Anyways, I've already prepared for my warm-ups. I'm gonna hit one last warm-up, just bend over row, and then I'm going to my sets. It's 
easy work right there. And I'd go into my heavy lifts. So I did three sets of 12 with 135. Today I'll be hitting eight to 10 on this bent over rows, and then I'm gonna do something different. So this is my working set. I got 220 in the bent over row. I'll do six to eight times. Hey, yo, it's super hot in this garage. Here in this Houston weather, there's probably 100 plus. Don't think that I didn't prepare by drinking lots of fluids because I'm sweating bullets right now working out here in this garage. So, you gotta prepare. If you don't prepare, how can you expect to go beast mode if you don't prepare? By the way, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, Gains underscore marathon. Look me up. Second set. Doing three sets. All right, so my last set of these bent over rows, I'm gonna be using these wrist wraps here. I noticed in my last set, my grip strength started to give out, and that usually happens when you start to go heavier. Uh, so nothing wrong with that. I would just recommend always waiting to your last heavy sets before you start utilizing the wrist wraps. Wrap, excuse me. Don't start using these wrist wraps right away uh, when you're not even struggling with holding the weight up because all you're doing is hurting your grip strength, okay? You wanna make sure you can develop that grip strength but toward the end, like I said, when you start, your grip strength starts giving out, then it's quite all right to use some wrist wraps. So last set. Yeah, these things work wonders. I start feeling that barbell slip out of my hands, but these things got them locked in. All right, guys, moving right along. I'm gonna hit these uh, pull-ups, three sets of eight, and then I'll add weight and do a couple more sets. Uh, one thing I wanted to say, though, is um, I won't send us through a whole bunch of workouts of back. I usually do three, maybe four tops of back exercises. There's no point in doing eight, 10, 12, 15, 20 different back exercises because at the end of the day, you're working the same muscles in your back repeatedly when you do multiple different sets. So you're basically just overdoing it. Why not go heavier in three or four different set variations rather than go light all the way doing 10 different back workouts. You're just, you're just wasting time and you're just pretty much hurting your own gains. So try to go heavier earlier. That way you can deplete your back muscles and uh, you won't have much left after that and then you can throw some biceps in and uh, you'll be good to go, I promise you. So um, back to our word, our topic for the day, preparation. I'm sorry to keep kicking a dead horse, but uh, this is so important to me and I feel it on my heart. You know, when it comes to things in life, we always wanna prepare. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Let's go. So another thing I want to throw out is excuses. Yo, I am sick and tired of excuses. People always have excuses for everything. And this might be a topic for another video, but uh, excuses go hand in hand with accountability, okay? You have all the excuses in the world, but at the end of the day, it's all about holding yourself accountable, okay? How bad do you want it, okay? You can say, you know, and this kind of goes back on my last video where I was, you know, trying to motivate people. If you haven't seen that yet, 
then check it out. I'll link to it. But um, how bad do you really want it, you know? Because at the end of the day, you can have excuses left and right, or you can let someone else make excuses for you, okay? But just because they're making excuses for you and maybe sound like they're siding with you and justifying your reasons doesn't make your excuses justified, okay? It really doesn't because you will eventually figure it out and it might be too late, okay? All the excuses in the world are not gonna save you from getting whatever it is you're trying to achieve, okay? Whether it be a promotion at your job, whether it be new muscles or that new PR, which is personal record in the weight room, or maybe even a, I don't know, college scholarship, you know? Maybe you're trying hard, you're studying to get high grades so you can get, you know, that academic scholarship or whatever. But if you don't study and you don't put the time in, you don't, you know, push your friends aside and say, hey, I gotta study instead of going out and drinking coffee or going out hanging out at the carnival or whatever, going watching a movie, I need to study. Then you're gonna hurt yourself in the long run, okay? So nothing wrong with doing those things. I'm just saying, try to balance it out. You wanna make sure you do and prepare for what's most important in your life. And the other things can, you know, kind of take a, take a, you know, a side or whatever. But uh, y'all get my point. Let's get another set in. All right, last set before I throw some heavy weight on me and do these pull-ups, okay? Yeah. Y'all don't think that I prepared to do these pull-ups before I even got in the gym. Y'all thought that maybe I just jumped on this pull-up bar one day and I was able to bang out eight to 10, doing three or four reps easy. Hell no. Nah. It took constant grind, constant dedication, day in and day out of getting in the garage gym, working to it. I remember when I couldn't do three or four straight. Now look at me. But it took grind, it took preparation, okay? No excuses. No, my mama and my daddy telling me I couldn't do it, but the reason why you can't do it, son, is because your arms are, are not as strong as everybody else's, and it's just the way we are. You take after me, son. That's why you can't do it. Nah, man, heck with all that. Even if my mom or dad did tell me that, I'm gonna say, scared. Stop right there, pops. Stop right there, mama. You may be weak, but it stops here. I'm not carrying those jeans on to my next kids and my grandkids, nope, I'm fixing to make a difference. And that's the way you gotta think. Don't let nobody put anything on you. Well, you do this because of me, or you do that because of me, or, or the reason why you like that is because your, your grandpa and your grandma was like that. Man, heck with all that. It's time to make a change, you feel me? All right, I'm gonna add these weights to, uh, these plates to these, uh, so I can do this pull up and uh, let's get it on, baby. So I got this belt right here. Just added 25, 30, 35 pounds to it. I'm 190. Makes me 220 right here. I guarantee you I'm not gonna do eight to 10, but I'll try to do as many as I can. Grind it out. Hard work and dedication. Y'all watch this hop like Mario. <laughs> yes, sir. Now I know some people don't have that device, that little contraption there to add to your body, but uh, if you're interested in knowing about it, look at my toolkit down in the description below. Show you where I got it from where you can get your own. But you really don't need that one, to be honest. You can easily use a dumbbell. You can use a weighted ball. Um, you can even put a heavy vest on you, you know, one of those weighted vests. Whatever it takes to, uh, you know, challenge yourself to keep the, you know, out of the norm. Because what they say is, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. 
Okay, remember that. Hey, yo, so when I was looking at my last clip, um, I noticed because I was facing you guys, it didn't look like I was going all the way up. So this next one I'm gonna do, same 30 pound additional weight to myself. I'm gonna do it this way with my back turned so y'all can see that my head, my chin is definitely going over the bar, okay? And try and cheat nobody, just like don't cheat yourself. Prepare, always. Same weight, just so y'all can see. As you can see, I've been getting it in, sweating profusely. But as I mentioned previously, I don't like to do 10 or 15 different sets of back. It's just overkill to me. Uh, this is my third set of back. Uh, I will be doing the landmine bent over row. So there's three different attachments. So first I'll start with the outer and then move inward. And I'll do eight to 10 in each one. And one by one, I'll continuously go through all of them without stopping. You definitely feel that one, but it's nice, it feels good. Last and final set, same thing, outside, inner, and then inner, inner. It takes preparation to do that. It's not easy. But I did it because I prepared. And I was able to achieve 21 reps nonstop. Different grip variations. Because I'm a beast. So if you've stuck with me this far, I appreciate you hanging out. I know there's so many other things that you could be doing, but you're watching me. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm about to get these curls in. As I mentioned, I'm gonna do three sets with this Titan Fitness Easy Curl Bar. It's 31 pounds. If you're interested in knowing more about it, look at my toolkit down below in the description. You'll find out more. Eight to 10, two to three sets. I'm sorry, three sets, eight to 10. All right, so this bar is 31 pounds. I've got two 25 pound plates, 81 pounds on this bar. Easy work, nothing special, nothing difficult about it. It's just grinding, being consistent. That's how we do it in the garage gym, getting them gains. All right, so here's the bonus. These are 15 pound dumbbells. You might say, man, those are pretty light. They do too slow to be lifting 15 pound dumbbells. You'll see why in a minute. So I'm gonna do five regular curls and then five hammer curls. And then, now hammer curls. Challenge yourself, baby. That's how I do it. You ain't trying to get no gains if you don't challenge yourself, you feel me? All right, one more time with the 15s. 
If you want to alternate them, you can. This makes you count three, four, four, five, five, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. I just feel like that takes too long. Guns are about shot. But I know you're miring. So story time, right? One day I do back and biceps and uh, that same day I had a job interview to go to and uh, you know, had to wear a suit and tie. And being that I just can't touch my shoulders, especially after my arm workouts, imagine what it was like to try to put a tie on. I could not get that thing, the top button on my shirt. I couldn't button it up. Boy, it was a pain. It almost took me 20 minutes just to get that damn button up. Finally got it, but woo! I learned never again to do arm days, biceps and back or whatever, on days that I interview, or if I have an interview or some reason to wear a tie. At least I know I have someone to help me because it wasn't fun, I tell you. Anyways, that about wraps it up today. Today we was talking about preparation and the best things and the reason why to prepare. So I was thinking, you know, what do I do on a daily basis to prepare for certain things? And one of the things that came to mind is like, tomorrow I have leg day. So what I would do is put all the weights up and sometimes I'll get the squat bar ready. I'll get the deadlift bar ready, whatever other things that need to be put in place just to be prepared for the next day. And you might think to yourself, so what, that's nothing. Well, it is something because maybe tomorrow, I may not feel like working out. Maybe tomorrow I just won't have the energy, but I will push myself. And when I get in here, knowing that things are in place the way I need them, will easily put my mind at ease and help me to get into that mindset to go the extra mile and work, you know what I'm saying? It's little things like that. So kids, if you're watching this, or grown-ups, don't wait till the day of to get your stuff ready, you know, what you're gonna wear for work or school. You know, maybe you're looking for a certain belt and you're gonna wait till the last minute. Find that belt the night before, the socks, the shoes, the shirt, whatever it is, take the time to iron it. Get prepared so that when the morning comes, you ain't got nobody waiting on you, okay? You're ready to go. Put your clothes on, brush your teeth, do whatever, and you're ready to go. I guarantee you, once you start preparing like that and looking at everything like that in life, everything's going to come so much easier, okay? Now, I'm not saying that everything is, you know, easy and life is easy, because of course not. But every day we're getting knocked down. Every day we're bumping shoulders with people that may not like us, that may hate on us, you know, but whatever we can do to help ourselves, then why not? Why not prepare ourselves so that we can make things easier for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Do those little things. It makes a big, big difference, okay? Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you, uh, you know, the, the content that I have, that I present, I try to bring everyday life things, life struggles, you know, try to bring some lessons. But at the end of the day, this is a workout page. So I try to tie it back into working out. So if you find these videos helpful, please share them, please like, please comment. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, right here. My boy R3 is still not here yet. He should be back soon. If you want to follow his Instagram, it's right here. Remember, keep going and keep growing.